We're going to click on the first link to bring up how to install Python 3 on Mac OS X. So we're just going to follow the instructions just like they're written on the website. So the first thing we have to install is Xcode. So there's a link on the website. We just click to it, and it will bring us to the Mac store. Um, we want to click on the View in Mac App Store, and we'll click on the Get to download it and install. So when you download Xcode, it will take a long time to install. It's about a 4.2 gigabyte file, so I have to, you know, download and then install. Now the other thing we have to do, according to the website, is make sure we run, install the command tools on Xcode. And so we're just going to install using this command in the terminal. So we're going to bring up the terminal again. Okay, and we can do Xcode select install. Okay, and it's going to ask us, and yes, we want to encode, install Xcode, agree. And so this will take a little bit, but it will install the software. Okay, and once you have the command line tools installed, it'll tell you the, the software is installed. Perfect. So now we're going to install Homebrew to continue uh, our installation of Python. And so Homebrew is a really cool tool that you can really manage all kinds of software with, but right now we just really want to manage Python. So we're going to just copy this whole command. And we're going to paste it in the terminal. Okay, and we'll just hit enter and run it. And it's going to tell us it's going to do a bunch of stuff, and so we're just going to kind of follow along and let it go. Uh, and it's going to want us to give a password here. I had to get the user to the computer to enter the password, but now it's installing everything. So amazingly, it looks like our installation is successful. That's what it told us anyway. Okay, and so we have Homebrew up and running. Okay, and so one other thing is to, that might come up is if you don't have administrator privileges, it might not let you install Homebrew as your own user. Um, so in order to switch to a, an administrator, we can just press the up arrow and it gives us that command again. Okay, the same command we did. And so we can go back to the beginning of this. And so if it asks for administrator privileges, you can give the command sudo. That means super user do this. And so that will have the super user run this, and it will let you enter your super user or administrator password so you can run the, the Python command. But we don't need to do that on this computer because it worked. Okay, and so now we have Homebrew installed. And so it's, the next thing on the website is it says we need to update our path environment variable. And so I want to look at what the path is. So you can look at an environment variable by using the echo command. So I'm going to do echo dollar path. Okay, and so the one thing to point out is that it actually already has user local bin in the path. And so for this computer, I don't need to do this extra command where I'm going to add uh, a line to bash profile. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what that would look like anyway. So I'm going to bring up the terminal again. Okay, and so we can use nano, which is a text editor. Okay, and we want to edit the bash rc file, or the bash profile file. This just gets run, this is a file that gets run every time you log into your computer. Okay, and so they, there is already actually, in this computer, there's already this export path. And so if we want to just update, we can do the same thing is it's basically above. Control X to exit. It'll say, do you want to save? I'll say yes. You know, we'll write that, hit enter to, do, to save it as dot bash profile. And so again, I didn't need to do that. Uh, for this one because the user local bin is already part of my path for for whatever reason. And that may be the same with you. If you already see, if you do echo, 
dollar path and you see use your local bin, you don't have to do this export path command. Assuming you now have user local bin in your path, now we can get on to installing Python 3. Okay, and so we can, again, we already know that the old version of Python's in there. Right, so we can either just run Python and you'll see the version right there, 2.7. Or you can use that Python minus V command and it prints out the version. Okay, but now we want to just use this brew install Python 3 to install Python 3. And so this will take a while as well as it installs all of Python 3. Okay, and then we see that Python has been successfully installed. Okay, and so we can go ahead and now, so we, if we run Python, we can see it's version 2. If we run Python 3, we can see now it's version 3.6.1. So we have Python 3 installed on your Mac. That's pretty awesome.